So guys, in this video we are going to see about the solenoid valve which is used in dental chairs and dental applications the most and you know we we can dismantle this and see what is inside and I will I'll tell you the uh, spare parts and its functions step by step okay so I am Praveen Rajagopal and this is Mr. Biomedical So this is a solenoid valve and the ratings is here DC 30 volt this means it will work in uh, DC voltage 30 volt when we apply the 30 volt here uh, you can hear some sound like click uh, I'll, I'll tell you for that we need to cut this thing up so that we can connect it to the removed and I'm applying 30 volt here wait see You hear that sound right so this is how it's working let me switch it off okay. now we can go through this one and first we need to remove the screw this will happen whenever if you have any uh, air water or uh, three-way syringe uh, that water is not coming means you should check this one also so here this is a coil this one is a coil and this is a this is a cover this is a piston cover and we should remove the screws So I already discussed uh, in many videos like how it working and all but here you can see just pull it out and you can see the orifice and the plunger so this is a spring this one is a spring and this orifice and it's a plunger as you can see this is uh, very neat and clean because it is a new but sometimes what will happen is if it's rusted or something it won't work uh, sometimes it will be rust inside and you know get stuck here like this and that time it won't work so make sure the the mechanism of this one uh, with spring is actually working like this 
should be like this then only it will work like I'll, I'll see you I'll show the demo See, if I release this, oh my god, where, okay, see like this only it will work, so it is a coil, it is a coil, okay this one is a coil and this one is a plunger and this one is a orifice with spring spring is must sometimes spring is also get rusted and uh, at that time also it won't work properly and this is the in inlet uh, and outlet uh, uh, connector maybe uh, you can say like uh, in or out or something so here water comes here and blocked by this when we switched on the DC uh, solenoid, it will open like this and the water from here goes right here to here. So this is how it's working. So let me rearrange. Screw it up. So, if you have any bad solenoid, don't worry, you can easily clean it up and, and use it again. So, there is nothing worry about it. You don't need to change solenoid valve every time but make sure you are using the using the quality water like RO water or something else then their life will be you know uh, goes long as much as it can so make sure you are using RO water or distilled water in dental chair now everything is placed and now again we can check See, this is how it's working. So that's it. This is a solenoid, and we removed the parts and we explained. And that's it. So that is it now, and uh, we saw the parts of the solenoid valves and its functions. Uh, this is especially used in dental uh, chairs and uh, you know dental oriented products uh, especially and uh, like this mechanism only every solenoid is uh, solenoids are working like in uh, NABP uh, in pressure modules and uh, and some pressure pressure modules and you know pressure releasing modules everything like this only so you should be aware of uh, how to uh, remove the rust and you know how to put the put again back and you know back its uh, original form then only it will work so if it's if it's get stuck in uh, in something like uh, uh, sometimes maybe because of frustrated it will be stuck uh, um, inside so uh, at that time you should you should use WD-40 or any lubricant then you should clean around it and uh, you should clean everything perfectly and again uh, using WD-40 you can uh, reinsert there and put it back to the zolnite and it will definitely work and sometimes what will happen is coil will be gone at that time you should change the solenoid valve for sure so this is it and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe 
and we almost reach 3000 followers now and uh, i already told you that i am um, uh, i'm starting a new project uh, for biomedical engineers uh, biomedical training program with john gastro hospital john gastro hospital is a, a dedicated gastro hospital which is having every every facilities uh, regarding the gastroenterology and they are having a laser for pile surgery also so um, let me let me see what will happen because you know i need to uh, i'm i'm just now i'm preparing uh, the google forms and everything once it's settled i will i will send it in uh, description and you know linkedin and uh, whatsapp and everything so if you uh, if you plan to uh, get your uh, get um, get trained by uh, me you can contact me and uh, i will I'll, I'll make sure um, uh, to uh, to create that uh, Google form so that you can easily uh, contact with me and uh, and fee structures and everything will be lower comparing to other institution and this is a certified course which will be uh, get, uh, get you will be uh, uh, getting the certificate by John Gastro Hospital only so don't worry about it and uh, there is so many of courses like. Uh, 7 day course and 10 day course, 1 month course and 3 month course. So depends on how to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, if you are willing you can uh, you can learn many things like PCB repairing to SM, SMD repairing. So if you don't want to PCB repairing just, uh, just need the um, orientation of the machine, yeah we can do. So uh, remain this one and um, so let's see let's see uh, in future uh, once it available i will be sharing with you uh, that google form uh, then we will discuss about it and till then i am praveen rajagopal and see you soon very soon bye bye